Hi everyone, Vincenzo here with a new episode of Ayuka Rocks, a series of ukulele tutorials on some of the best rock riffs of all time. So if like me, you wanna rock out on the ukulele, you can't miss this one. Today, you will learn how to play Scar Tissue by the Red Hot Chili Peppers, one of the most iconic riffs of the Californian band. The riff itself is quite easy to play, so for this one you need to focus on the groove of it, because the riff is key not only for the melodic part of the song, but also for the rhythmic one. Having said that, let's start, but before doing that, let me remind you to subscribe to the channel. I don't like to say these things, but it would really help me if you did, and it doesn't cost you anything. The riff is played as an intro, and through all the verses of the song, you start with one on the second string, then two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then you have zero and zero, so a double stop. Remember, you have a double stop when you play two notes at the same time. All together, three, four, and again, three, four, For the right hand, I'm using the thumb for the fourth and the third string, the index for the second string, and the middle finger for the first string. If you want, you can just use the thumb and it will still work. You carry on and you have zero, zero, hammer on to one and two. Then one, two, one, two, one, two, and then one pull off to zero and zero. All together, three, four, You will need hammer-ons and pull-offs for this riff. If you need help with these techniques, you can find tutorials on them in the description. Having said that, let's put the two measures together. Three, four. One more time. Three, four. And now let's work on the third measure. The third measure is very similar to the first one. So if you want, you could actually just play the first measure again. However, the third measure goes like this. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and zero. All together, three, four, You might have noticed that between two and zero, there are rests, so the notes shouldn't really ring out. It's this, not this. Small difference, but it's worth pointing it out. For the last measure of the riff, you have zero, zero, hammer on to one and two, then three pull off to one, and again, three pull off to one. All together, three, four, two, three, and again, three, four, two, three. Now it's time to put the riff together. Three, four. Before playing it again, let me tell you a few things. First of all, the riff is very similar to the original one, but it's not 100% the same. Then when I play the riff, I generally want to keep the notes short. What I mean is that, for example, when I play this, you can see my fingers going up and down. And again, I'm exaggerating now, but I'm doing this to give the riff a more dry vibe so that there is a stronger rhythmic effect. If I keep my fingers on the fretboard versus if I bounce them, you can hear the difference. It's a small one, but again, if you want to take your plane to the next level, these are the things to start looking at. Now, let's play the riff one more time. Three, four.
you've done with the riff. Let's see what to play for the chorus. The chords are F and D minor, and in between them you play a C. These are the shapes that I'm using. F, C, and D minor. If you prefer, you can use this shape for D minor and this one for C. But the ones that I showed you work better for the strumming pattern of the song. It goes like this, three, four, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, down with a muted strum and then C. All together, three, four, For the muted strum, I'm resting the ring finger and the pinky on the strings of the ukulele. And again, three, four. By the way, the symbol that looks like an M means downstroke and the one that looks like a V upstroke. For D minor, you have this pattern. Three, four, down, down, up, up, down, down, and then C. All together, Three, four. Remember the last two strums are short and punchy, like this. One more time. Three, four. Now let's put the strumming pattern together. Three, four. If you find this hard, let me show you a simple strumming pattern. It goes like this, three, four, down, down, up, up, down, down, and again, three, four, down, down, up, up, down, down. You don't need to play the C and so you get this, three, four. Okay, now you basically learn the entire song. One thing, you might be wondering why I did this and not this. The reason is that the open string keeps ringing out and have less groove, so in my opinion the riff sounds punchier when played using the fourth string. Now let's have a play along at 89 BPM, which is the tempo of the song. I will be playing the riff and the strumming pattern twice. Having said that, get ready, you're about to start playing. The aim of this tutorial was to teach you how to play scar tissue by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Learn it, post your video on social media and tag me. I will reshare your video and I will give you personalized feedback. Bear in mind that the riff and the strumming pattern change a bit during the song. In fact, there are a lot of variations that you can pick up from the record or that you can improvise yourself. Also, let me remind you that on my Patreon page, you can find the tabs and the backing tracks that you need to practice this riff. You have three backing tracks, one at the original tempo, one slower and another one even slower. And one more thing, don't forget that if you learned something from this video and you would like to say thank you, you can buy me a coffee, link in the description. That's all for now. Let me know in the comments if you managed to learn this riff. If you want to take your playing to the next level, have a look at my free course here on YouTube and download my free A-Step Roadmap, link in the description, that will tell you the exact process to follow to learn the ukulele. Moreover, check out the other links in the description to learn more about the types of classes that I've got available at the moment. 
If you're into rock music, subscribe to my channel and follow the hashtag at UKROX on Instagram. And don't forget to check out the series at UKROX to learn how to play some of the most iconic rock songs on the ukulele. Having said that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week. Ciao!